Hello, my lovely Aries. Today we are doing a reading for the month of March, mid-March. Please like the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Please note this will not resonate with every Aries, so if it doesn't, dismiss what doesn't and take what does. If you would like a private reading, please just email me. My email will be listed below. And so will my group link. Okay, um, also if you see writing on the back of my cards those are affirmations and just fun things that i like to put on my cards to make them personal i make them mine okay let's get on with the reading and if this resonates please do comment below and let me know okay this will be general and i will also pull some love cards and guidance okay for our aries please and thank you spirit guides and angels what would you like to say to aries Please and thank you. Aries, please and thank you. Aries. Mid-March, Aries. Mid-March. Aries, please and thank you. What would you like to say? Anything else, please, and thank you for mid-March for Aries. Ooh, okay, I will take you. All right, let's see what we have, guys. Actually, let me pull one more card. May I please have one more card for Aries for the month of March, please, and thank you. All right, thank you kindly. All right, so... The first card is the King of Wands. I see that there is definitely going to be progress coming to you. Um, this could be in a relationship. This could be career-wise, but I definitely see progress being made. I see that there is going to be some long-awaited decisions that you will actually need to make. And some deals that you need to make this month. I am seeing wonderful news come to you. Um, it's going to make you feel proud. It's going to be in your favor. It can be a legal decision, a contract, or some kind of offer at work, but it is definitely going to make you happy and be good. I see the Empress. So for some of you, this will mean that there will be fertility and there will be babies and motherhood. For the rest of you, it means abundance is coming your way this month. I am seeing that you guys are also battling hard for something. You really want it. You are trying your best. But sadly, you also know that this is an unattainable goal. That it is something that is not happening or going the way that you want. And you honestly just need to walk away and admit the defeat. I am also seeing that you guys need to pay more attention to your dreams and to the things that are happening in your dreams because there is important messages and they're trying to put you on the right track. Okay, you guys are going through a lot. I see a lot of stress. I see a lot of things that have been taking place. But I am also seeing at the same time that there will be a welcome rest from this. That things will move on and definitely get better. There was something that you were fighting for that you just have to admit the defeat for. But I see that there will be a welcome rest once you do admit the defeat and move on from the circumstance. Okay, there is a lot that you are taking on. There is a lot that you're going through that need your attention, that need your time at this moment. And... I definitely see opportunity coming to you. Either a person is going to come in communication and they're going to talk to you, but you also need to make sure with this person that it's just that not that. It's just not talk. You know how some people like to bullshit you and just say things that, you know, make you happy at that moment just to settle you down. Well, you need to make sure that it's not that. Okay, I see anxiety again and stress. You guys are full of it this month, and I'm sorry about that, but I do see that you are definitely getting through it. There is something really hard that is going through, you are going through in your life at this current moment, but things are going to get better, and you guys need to hang in there, okay, guys? All right, so we will pull some love cards for you guys and see what they have to say. A 
Okay, for Aries, for the month of March, mid-March, please and thank you. Okay, guys, I see that you are going to find out something. Something is going to come to life. Or to light, I should say. Anything else for us, Aries? Please and thank you. Is there anything else you would like to say? Please and thank you for Aries. Aries for March, please and thank you. May I please have three more cards? I wanted to come out, so you're out. Alright. Woo! Not all them guys. Jeesh. Okay. I will take that one. And I need one more, please and thank you. Thank you. Okay, so guys, I definitely see a new beginning. I see an end to something, end of a relationship, end of marriages, end of things that are happening that are bringing you new beginnings, okay? It's going to be a liberation. It's going to be a change. It's going to be a transition coming to some of you. And I do see that you're going to find out things. Things are coming to light. Makes sense for you finally. I am seeing that for some of you, you guys are in a codependent relationship, that you have fears of abandonment, and someone is chasing. For some of you, I do see that the person that you are not together with is going to come back, is going to want to talk to you, and you're going to get some weighted messages from this person because you are healing from the heartbreak it was a toxic relationship it was not what you thought but they're coming back anyway but i do see for some of you that it is going to go in a different way there is going to be a rekindle and a transformation for some of you guys relationships and will get better which is great and for some of you, I do see that you will just be ending it and walking away. Okay, let's have some guidance cards. Spirit guides and angels, guidance for Aries, please. And thank you. Can we please have cards for Aries for the month of March? March, please, Aries. Guidance. Spirit guides and angels, thank you kindly. All right, so what we are getting is my beloved. Though we really, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time and nothing is missing. So for you guys in separation, your person is thinking about you and some of them still do deeply love you. Okay, we got don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others, which is very true also. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So if there's something that you truly want to do deep side in your heart, go for it, guys, okay? You need to listen to your heart. Sometimes we can't always be too practical and listen with our heart our head okay sometimes our heart is pushing us in the right direction oh yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this reading i hope it does resonate and for those who it does please like and subscribe and comment letting me know if it does resonate with you i hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching i will be posting more enjoy your night